Hi, I'm Florida foreclosure defense lawyer Michael Wasik. I'm here today at the uh, Pinellas County Courthouse in St. Petersburg, and I want to tell you about an email that I got this week that really bothered me because it really seemed like somebody got the raw end of a deal and doesn't really understand why. Um, the email basically said, the court system doesn't work, I'm going a different way, I'm going to file myself a qualified written request, I'm going to get a loan securitization audit, I'm going to do all these other things, and, and I don't want to go to court. And so I did a little more digging and I found out what had happened. Um, she had a sale date set, and the reason she had a sale date set is because she had a lawyer who pushed her into consenting to judgment because he said, well, there's no way we can win. And I thought that was just a terrible, terrible mistake that she had made on the bad advice she had gotten from somebody who obviously doesn't necessarily know how these things work. Because it was obvious to me she didn't want to give up. She didn't want to consent. She hadn't yet stopped fighting. She was going to spend a whole bunch of money on a whole bunch of other different things. Thousands of dollars on a securitization audit, um, a, a qualified written request to find out who owned her loan. Well, those things are done. Judgment's been entered. None of those things can matter at that point. And so she's about to flush a whole bunch of money down the drain because she wasn't done fighting, but her lawyer advised her to consent because he had given up the fight when she hadn't. Now, at Ricardo and Wasik, we focus on what works. We don't advise you to spend thousands of dollars on, on research into securitization unless it's going to help your case, and we almost never find a case where that's appropriate. Um, we're not going to tell you that a qualified written request is going to be some kind of silver bullet that's going to kill your case, because it's not. It's just not. I've never seen a foreclosure trial turn on a qualified written request or a foreclosure summary judgment turn on a qualified written request. It just doesn't happen. But what does work is going to trial. Now, you may not win the trial. I don't win all my trials. I, I don't have a perfect record. I wish I did, but I don't. Uh, I've won uh, cases I maybe shouldn't have won. I've lost cases I know I shouldn't have lost. But in every case, if I go to trial, I'm laying down a record for a possible appeal. Because if you consent to judgment, you've, you're done. You've basically thrown in the towel. You can't appeal. You can't do anything else. You can't come back later with a qualified written request or a securitization audit and say, oh, now I've discovered new evidence. It's too late. You've already consented to judgment. But if you go to trial, if you fight like hell, because you're not done fighting, you fight like hell, and even if you lose the trial, because it sometimes happens, no matter how good your case, no matter how good your attorney, no matter how smart the judge, sometimes you lose cases. If you go to trial and lose, at least you've got a chance to keep fighting because you've laid down a record that you can use to appeal. And if you don't do that properly at trial, then you don't have a chance to appeal. But if you do have someone who knows how to go to trial and knows how to raise the issues that are the strongest issues in your defense and make sure that they're on the record properly with objections preserved and the court reporter taking them down and documentation and evidence that needs to be considered, all of that is in at trial. If you know how to get that in, if you have a lawyer who can do that for you, then you have a chance. Even if you lose the trial, you have a chance at possibly winning an appeal. Many, many foreclosure cases get appealed, and many of those get overturned and sent back. There's lots of cases on the record where that's happened. There's Korea, there's the Falk case, there's um, the Mazine case. A number of foreclosure trial cases where the borrower lost came back and got reversed on appeal. And some of those were dismissed outright on appeal because the strength of the trial record was so excellent. So what you want to do if you're not done fighting, don't consent. Don't let anyone talk you into a consent. Oh, we can't win. They'll give you 120 days. That's garbage. If you're not done fighting, you're not done fighting. And no extended sale date is going to benefit you if you want to fight. Because if you consent, you've given up and it's done. No matter what carrot they offer you, no matter what kind of bait they offer you, an extended sale date is garbage. Consenting to judgment is garbage. Unless you've given up, don't consent to judgment. Don't consent. Don't let your lawyer talk you into consenting. If you've got somebody who's talking to you into consent judgment right now and you're not done fighting, give us a call. My name is Michael Wasik. You can reach me at 352-567-3173. That's 352-567-3173. Thanks for taking the time to watch this video, and don't give up your fight.